The following tutorial is going to show you how to use the spot healing tools. I'm going to show you how to use all of them and the content aware. All right, so let's see. If I want to use the content aware tool, very simple. I'm going to select the object I want to get rid of, which is the person, the surfer here. While they're selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose fill. I'm going to use content aware. Click OK. And voila, the person is gone. That's how you use content aware. Very simple to use, very nice tool. Let's get rid of that and undo it. Let's go on to the spot healing. Spot healing brush. All that I do here is I select, I actually paint what I want to get rid of. Let's get rid of the shadow and the whole person. And voila, the person is gone. Very easy to use that tool as well. And all of these tools basically do the same thing. Here's the spot healing brush. Um, again, what this does is this one actually wants me to select an area, so I select up here. Very similar to clone stamp, except in addition to clone stamping, this also tries to fix your errors. So this is actually a little better than the clone stamp. Again, but it is a fake thing, so you know it's digitally trying to guess what should be there. Let's undo that. There is the patch tool, which simply will, oops, I selected bad, but just wants me to select, I select, and then I move over where I'd like it to mesh, and it figures out what it should look like. And I can actually do that one again. So I select my image that I want to get rid of, and I move it somewhere else to where I want it to look similar to and then it gets rid of it and then finally there's a content aware move tool and what this does is it actually allows me to move my content so I can take the surfer and I can actually move him to a different place on the screen now I've moved him to a new place so I can move the locations of the surfers and that's it that's how you use all those healing tools thank you